Hi, Vilma here and welcome. I'm actually making a scrapbook layout today, people. I know. I haven't scrapbooked in more than a year and and uh, Mother's Day was so awesome. We took beautiful photos and my girls gave me a beautiful bouquet of flowers and that inspired me to paint these little bouquets that I call summer flowers uh, or garden flowers and they are available on iHeart Studio and there are five bouquets I used acrylic paint and that uh, process video is coming to my YouTube channel soon I just have to edit it and you know what I painted it with gloss varnish and I'll show you the product in a moment the gloss gloss varnish people and here you can see the digital um, uh, preview of my garden flowers and they are beautiful they are so happy and they printed beautifully and I used my silhouette to cut them out and they are going to be used for numerous projects so I'm very excited to work on this I'm just getting my uh, workspace set up and then we are going to start so scrapbooking how do you do that again <laughs> Um, I decided to do a little monoprinting with my jelly plate on the background and as a bonus I'm making two pages all at once. I know right this video is just getting better so okay a little rose pink, a little white and a little magenta quinacridone magenta and I'm just mixing it with my palette knife and then I'm like why why should I use a roller? The palette knife can work fairly flat so I just scraped it through on my jelly plate and then I'm like well probably the people that does printing are gonna scream at me let me put the roller on there and then you press voila um, the colors are really pretty even though you can't really see it on the video as well um, but trust me it's beautiful I wanted a pink background because I just I, I'm a girl and I'm scrapbooking lots of girls and we're a house of girls so why not okay so there's a second one and that's just the background I love the texture on it I love the flatness on it and what I love is that the jelly plate can really give me a lot of control um, where if I stencil directly on my page it's always a gamble you never know what's going to happen even though you know me I'm happy with happy accidents but with the jelly plate you can actually have a fairly good idea of what's going to happen on your page and if it's smudged on the jelly plate it will be a little smudged on the print and that's fine you know what that's exactly what I wanted so now I'm probably rummaging through my leave stencils because as you know me I want a leave stencil and I found one and I'm going to mix up so this was the hardest part of this whole process was finding the right color I really wanted orange but in the end I put too much white in there so I ended up with a dark pink which was fine a orangey pink and I uh, was a little disappointed in myself here but you know what I just pressed on because that's what you do when you haven't scrapbooked in forever and ever amen so you just press on so a little bit of um, naphthal red or pyrrole red ink let's see if it makes a little bit more orange nope so let's try something else so okay so this is like a boxing match hey okay let's add some more yellow and see what's the outcome here no it's still too pink anyway I'm just being silly um, maybe it's because one of my girls are baking banana bread and uh, that's what I'm actually smelling while I'm narrating this video so I'm like uh, it's not the exact color that I need but but maybe a little subtleness on the background will be pretty so let's do it okay so now I'm going to use my jelly plate 
put the stencil on there and roll ink my roller up with semi orange paint and now you can see that beautiful little print you know exactly what you're getting you can position it wherever you want and now you just print ta-da and I'm going to do that again but first you need to clean it and then you need to dry it so this is what I've learned because if if the wet the baby wipe leaves a little wet residue it smudges the paint so now I'm just going to ink up my roller again and quickly print a little bit more and then I'm going to do it on the other page as well by now if you've watched enough of my videos you know that I love to do two things at once I'm just inherently a little lazy so I love to do uh, one job for the price of two which is either lazy or very economical so or productive let's call it I love productivity so that's what I like okay so I'm inking up a little more and they, this time I figured out why not put down the stencil again and ink it up again just be careful that your roller doesn't go off the stencil and now let's print on the other side of the stencil um, the square why not voila and I love it I love I actually love the printed um, look of it I like it I love the graphic look so now I'm going to put my jelly plate away I'm going to clean my palette knife because when you ice a cake it's an icing knife and when you use the same tool for art it's a palette knife so you can write that up in your book of things that I've taught you okay perfect so here are both pages and uh I hardly had to wait for anything to dry so it really it really dried very quickly and I decided I'm going to put one horizontal and one in a portrait and here's my photographs and I actually <laughs> just shows you how long ago I've scrapbooked because when I was looking for um, photo print paper I only had one sheet. I could only find one sheet. It's horrible. So I had one chance to do it right. And the printer didn't print. I did, the settings wasn't 100% right. It, the contrast was a little heavy. But you know what? I don't care. Because at least I found two decent prints. And I can make two scrap of pages. So I'm very happy. So there you go. My girls were so sweet. So on Mother's Day, they decided we're going to have a little photo shoot and they dressed up. There was no tantrums, no bad attitudes. Not that they have that anymore, but you know, they were just so happy about it, which made me happy. So it was amazing. It was such a beautiful day. And here are the bouquets and I'm just placing them and figuring out which one I want to use. And just cleaning up the cut file. So there were one or two white pieces I didn't remove. So I'm just poking it. But because I painted it with gloss varnish, it's a little sticky. So I have to be... So remove the pieces before you paint it with gloss varnish. I printed my um, bouquets on mixed media paper. The Strathmore mixed media paper. Uh, it's amazing it's just wonderful and it just printed out so beautifully so okay and now people I am taking the hot glue that I love to use and I have quite a few embellishments now don't try and find these online because they are very old that's how long ago I've been scrapbooking and I have a secret stash of scrapbook embellishments and they and I love them and I just hide them from my children and from the world and I use them sparingly so I'm I'm very sorry that I'm not using the newest trendiest things I don't have any 
And because I don't really scrapbook so much, I don't want to buy it. Okay, so unfortunately, a big chunk was um, not recorded. And with the page on the right, you can see that I did cut my bouquet. I did cut it in a third. And one third is on the side of the photo with the three girls. And the other third I put on the top. So that's just a little tip. I went with this um, Love Out Loud um, sticker from Crate Paper. And now I'm just going to rummage through some Cedar Lane embellishments, which is actually, a, um, well, it's by Paisley Press, I think this these embellishments and it's actually thanksgiving themed but you know what i'm very thankful so i think it 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 works well here and i but i what i love about this specific um embellishment pack is the vellum embellishments like that one that you can see through and and now i'm that precarious point in any artwork or scrapbook layout where you have to decide what to add to your page you don't want to add too much you don't want to add too little you just want to be goldilocks and i'm just sticking down the third that i cut off and the other third that's left over i'm going to stick down with hot glue on this side there you go just here and there i actually like the bouquet not to be 100 percent flat against the page because that way when you just lift it up it makes a little shadow which is cute and then the vellum embellishments vellum embellishments and on this side i'm going to do the same so okay this is scrapbooking in its simplest form this is scrapbooking in my favorite form is uncomplicated simple easy and quick and you know what, when you can scrapbook this way, um, it really makes a difference because you can mass produce, you can make like 10 or 15 pages, you know, in a short time. Um, the other thing that I really like about this way of scrapbooking is it's like when you have the right products, it really makes a difference. Like because I'm using these little bouquets, I don't need a lot of other things, you know, um, and so that's that's fun. I actually, even with uh, the happy word there, has a sticky background, but even then I still add hot glue because my personal experience after 15 years of scrapbooking is that things still fall off. Like after a couple of years, it will fall off. And that is one of my biggest pet peeves. Those little tabs are from Studio Calico. Yeah, that's how, how ancient and vintage this scrapbook layout is. Now I'm going to cover my photos because I want to drop ink. And this is beautiful deep violet. I'm just going to add a couple drops here and there. And then I'm going to let it dry and voila, I'm done. What is left to do is just the journaling and that will be the next step of this video.
Right, and here is the final page. I, I was debating within myself if I should mount it on a different pattern paper like I do usually. But in the end, I just loved it too much. I love the simplicity of it. And here you can see the final page. Isn't this pretty? So, so pretty. Um, the girls, especially the girls. So thank you for hanging with me and uh, holding uh, my hand while I scrapbooked for the first time in a long time. I really appreciate your kind comments and uh, see you on the interweb soon. Bye.